All right, thanks for being with us this morning. Lots of school delays rolling in this morning. Yeah, and they're mainly delays, you guys. Not what's falling pretty much right now, but what we're cleaning up from yesterday. Of course, a lot of us saw a lot of rain, and now our temperatures have dropped back below freezing, but we're not quite done with the wintry precipitation quite yet. Anything that's falling is light, but we're still on the backside of this low pressure. There's still just a little bit of lift, and you see these light bands of snow and some patchy freezing drizzle moving on through. I'll get to that in a second, but Green Bay, I know you saw plenty of rain yesterday. Now look at your temperature. You're back below freezing, so that rain that was liquid has now frozen in a lot of spots. So we're cleaning that up. The winds right now, they're going to be picking up, giving us a wind chill of 18 as you throw down that salt this morning, but still dealing with some light snow, maybe some patchy freezing drizzle going along 43 south through Manitowoc, Sheboygan. But there's Green Bay, another batch of some light snow falling on top of that ice, still making it even more slippery as you throw down some salt though this morning. The temperature is kind of helping that out, but this light wintry precipitation, watch what happens here on Skycast. We're going to get rid of that as the morning goes on, and then this afternoon will be quiet, a little bit of sunshine, but it's still going to be blustery. So temperatures, everyone now back below freezing. That's why we've seen that refreeze out there of that liquid. Uh, Oshkosh is 27. Same with Appleton, 29, and Fond du Lac. Let's factor in the winds as you throw down that salt this morning. This is what it's going to feel like. 17, Fond du Lac, and 16 in Appleton. So the rest of your day today, this morning light wintry mix of precipitation going to come to an end. Then just blustery this afternoon with a high of 30. You guys, I am going to let you know when we do more melting with 40 degrees in the forecast. I'll time it out coming up. All right, thanks, Fish. A little slick out there. Let's take a look at our road conditions map right now. This is a live look at the DOT's winter road conditions map. And as you can see across northeast Wisconsin, things not looking great out there. If you focus in on Door County there, you can see uh, the major highways through Door County are listed as red, which means they are ice covered. That's Highway 57 and 42. And then from Green Bay down through Appleton, Oshkosh, and Fond du Lac on Highway 41 there, that's listed as pink, uh, which means those are slippery stretches. And the rest of Northeast Wisconsin uh, overall listed as blue there, which means those major highways are snow covered. We're not seeing any green on this map, which would signify good winter driving. And our meteorologist Gino Recchia traveling on those roads this morning. He's in Kiwani. Yeah, he's tracking a band of snow and sleet right now, and he continues our team coverage. Good morning, guys. Yes, just outside of downtown Kiwani, and I was debating what kind of shoes I should be wearing to work today. And honestly, I could have just brought in some ice skates because of how icy the sidewalks are right now. Just take a look. It's probably hard to see, but maybe you could tell by the reflection off the camera. A thin glaze of ice, and all you need is a thin glaze enough for you to slip and fall. And my photographer and I, every time we got out of the car to get ready for the next live shot, we almost slipped in pretty much uh, fell on our back because of how icy and glazed over the sidewalks are. So pretty much any place that does not have any treatment, any salt on them, it is icy this morning. But you can perhaps tell cars are kind of moving out and about. There's another pickup truck passing right by. The main roadways, they are fine. It's just those side streets and the sidewalks that still need to be treated. That's why likely we have those school delays. Right now though, thankfully, it has stopped freezing, drizzling. It is now flurrying outside, so no more of that ice accumulation. But keeping you connected, live in Kiwani, meteorologist Gina Recchia, We'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, thanks, Gino. Now, for those of you driving out on the ice this morning, drive slow and be defensive. If you do go into the ditch, stay in your car and call 911 for help. AAA also recommends putting together an emergency kit for your car. They also suggest topping off your fluids, check your windshield wipers, and always watch out for brake lights in icy conditions. All right, let's go now to our Emily Byer. She's in Marinette. She's continuing our team coverage this morning. And Emily, how's it going out there? Hey guys, good morning everyone. We're just here on Hall Avenue, which is kind of the main drag here in Marinette. And now if you take a look, we were talking about this sidewalk here before. We just now have a guy with a snowblower coming through, clearing this road here. Again, the road down uh, below, that sidewalk was completely cleared, but they're still digging out of snow here in Marinette. If you take a look up, we're also look, watching those winds. Uh, you can see that these flags are just being whipped around here this morning. 
and we're also making sure to watch that on the roads. Uh, I know when we were driving up here just between Peshtigo and Marinette, the roads were looking pretty good. They were, uh, you could tell that there was a lot of salt thrown down, so there weren't too many slick spots, but we were definitely feeling us kind of get whipped around a little bit from those winds, so definitely be careful for that. It could be really easy to get a little push from that wind and slip on some black ice, so just be very careful out on the roads. Again, we are watching for those delays. Head to our website, mec26.com, for updates on that. For now, reporting live in Marinette, Emily Byer, NBC 26. All right, thank you so much, Emily. And with plenty of snow on the ground in the northern parts of our region, it's time to hit the snowmobile trails. And this week, the Center for Childhood Safety has some safety tips during their International Snowmobile Safety Week. Kids under 16 should not drive. Always check local ice conditions, wear a helmet and other protective gear, and never snowmobile alone. And if you're looking to hit the trails, here's a look at which ones are open. According to the Wisconsin DNR's website, the trails in Door and Ocano counties are partially open. The conditions in Marinette County are also listed to be fair at this time. And all of this rain did not help any of the trails to the south, including the Fox Valley, 27 degrees. Now we saw plenty of rain in the Fox Valley. These temperatures are key, so any of that liquid has now completely frozen over. Uh, winds, they've been gusty this morning. Right now sustained at 13, giving you a wind chill of 16. We're not quite done with the wintry precipitation yet. Fox Valley, you're going to see some light snow, possibly mixed with some light freezing drizzle moving on through, and there's a little bit of that along 43. So any delays right now, pretty much dealing with that cleanup, but still some of this light precipitation falling on top of that ice creating some slippery conditions even along 29 as well going into Green Bay from Shawano some light precipitation falling but this is going to be moving on out as the morning goes on and then this afternoon starting to see some sunshine we'll quiet it down but we'll keep up those winds current temps we've got 27 Kiwani Manitowoc everyone is now below freezing so those of you who saw all that rain it's frozen over and then as you throw down that salt this morning this is what it feels like in Green Bay 18 that's the wind chill and 14 in Oshkosh so this light wintry mix this morning in spots going to end and then this afternoon quieting it down but still going to be blustery high of 30 degrees you guys we will do some melting i'm going to let you know when we hit 40 degrees coming up all right thanks fish now the federal government shutdown is over lawmakers in washington are working out a deal for now setting up another deadline in three weeks and tracy potts has the latest from capitol hill Brooke and Shane, we now have a new deadline of February 8th to deal with the budget and keep the government open. The president made that official overnight while tweeting that Democrats caved and he plans to work on the military and border security. With the stroke of the president's pen, the federal government reopens today with a three-week budget for now and a commitment to finding a solution for DREAMers next month. This immigration debate will have a level playing field at the outset and an amendment process that is fair to all sides. What changed? Democrats decided to trust a Republican promise. While this procedure will not satisfy everyone on both sides, it's a way forward. The yeas are 81, the nays are 18. But nearly two dozen Democrats voted no, skeptical the DACA immigration deal will happen before a March deadline. It is extremely difficult when you have a president that you don't know where he is on any given day. The White House says the president is all in on immigration. And a big priority for this administration is making sure we address uh, this program in its entirety, not just uh, that one piece of it. Federal employees are relieved the shutdown is over. I need the money for my bills. Some bracing for another standoff. We're going to be back to the same situation, which is ridiculous. Crisis averted, but only for three weeks. This deal also extends children's health insurance for six years and temporarily gets rid of some taxes under the Affordable Care Act. In Washington, Tracy Potts, NBC 26. All right, thanks, Tracy. Leaders in Marinette are holding a public meeting tonight. The plan is to discuss possible groundwater contamination issues in the town of Peshtigo. The groundwater has been tested for the presence of two compounds being studied by the EPA and health agencies. These are wells just like at your own home if you did not live in a city and were connected to a city sewer sure. or city water system. So um, these are the wells that people drink the water from, they shower with, they do their laundry with. Representatives from the DNR and the Department of Health Services and Tyco Fire Products, the company believed to be responsible for the possible contamination, will be on hand tonight to answer questions.
All right, still to come, the epidemic rages on as the flu continues to make us sick. The urgent message doctors want you to know. We'll be right back.